Did you see Alex's post on social media when he said that he's got your face on his knee? How do you respond to that? How he want to put my face in her, his knee because he's short and he needs some chair, you know, for this. Islam Akhachev, thank you so much for your time on Fox Sports and welcome to Australia. Thank you, thanks so much. Now, you're defending your lightweight championship against our very own Alexander Volkanovsky, but it's also a fight to determine who is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Would you say that this is the most important fight of your life? Uh, I think most important fight is before this fight, I fight for the title. This is most important fight for me, but this fight is so important too because I want to be number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Now, you are fighting in Australia. I imagine you'll be used to the heat, but something that you mightn't be used to is the Australian crowd who will be supporting Alex. Are you ready for a hostile environment against you? Doesn't matter. The people inside the arena cannot help him. You know, when the cage closed and nobody can help him. You mentioned that fight that you had against Charles Oliveira in October. Um, when Alex came up into the octagon, you were saying, where is this short guy? I didn't see this short guy, bring him here. Do you respect Alex as a fighter? I respect him, he's a pound for pound king right now, but you know, he's my new and next target. That's why I have to smash him, I have to finish him. What makes Alex so dangerous though? He's a good striker, but you know, this division, not for him, because 155, this is like big guys, and it's, I think, it's like, you know, he wanna, he makes some trouble for himself in this division. Fighters seem to find it very difficult to impose their games on Alex. In fact, Alex says that he forces them to fight his fight. How are you going to approach Alex Volkanovsky strategically? Like same, always. I always uh, try to push my opponents, take them down, and when they feel all power, all like how I either pressure them and make them tired there and finish, you know? I always looking for the finish. That's why it's next fight is gonna be same. I'm gonna try to finish him inside the three rounds. Alex Volkanovsky is not an easy man to submit. Did you see his fight against Brian Ortega when he escaped the, uh, the two submission attempts? Yes, I see this fight, but you know, Charles Oliveira not easy to submit too, but you know, I'm gonna try. Doesn't matter, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not gonna be some ambition. I'm gonna give him like hard time, give him ground and pound. And when you feel, when he feel it's not my division, I don't want them to take more damage, he's gonna give up. Did you see Alex's post on social media when he said that um, he's got your face on his knee? How do you respond to that? How he want to put my face in her, his knee because he's short and he needs some chair, you know, for this. Islam, people talk about your Sambo style uh, wrestling as your biggest strength, but your striking is incredible as well. I mean, we saw what you did to Bobby Green and you also knocked down Charles Oliveira before you submitted him. Do you feel that people maybe underestimate your striking? Uh, I think now it's no more because my last fight, I give the Lara hard punch to the Charles and after all this damage, he understands, you know, it's going to be a hard fight for him because he cannot, he can't some beat me, he cannot punch me. That's why he give up. And next fight, I will do the same things. Now, the big criticism of you before that fight, of course, was that maybe you hadn't fought enough big names to warrant the title shot. Do you feel that people respect you more after beating Charles Oliveira in that fashion? People was always told, you know, Islam gonna be next champion, Islam gonna be champion, but I can be champion a couple of years ago, but the all fighters avoid me and now I'm very happy because I'm finished that problem. Nobody want to fight me, but now it's good time. You know, somebody called me first time I hear somebody want to fight me, you know. Do you care what the fans think? Do you care what people think of you? Not 
too much, but you know, I want to make everybody happy. Let's talk about your good friend Khabib Nurmagomedov. He will not be cornering you for this fight. I understand him because you know he was retired, but he still travel a lot with his old team. Mm. And when somebody have fight, he go to the training camp, went to the other things, you know, and he cannot spend. When you retire, you want to spend more time with your family. But yes. like, for example, 2022, he says, like just two months, he stay in the home with family, but mm. all other time he travel a lot. That's why he want to spend more time with his family. You know. Is it going to be difficult to move on as champion without him? I fought a couple of times without him in the corner. That's why, you know, he gave me good so good support for this fight. He gave me good way to talk about this fight. He gave me, gave me the plan I have to fight. That's why we will see. He often talked about legacy. What will your legacy be, Islam? My legacy, you know, Every fighter is want to be pound for pound. Like not just champion. I am champion right now, but I have new goal, new target. I want to be pound for pound king, because this is, uh, I think, dream for all fighters. You know, when you pound for pound world champion, this is mean a lot. Well, Islam Khachev, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much.